Welcome to the Atlantic Indie Roundabout here at CIOE 97.5 FM. I'm your host, Maurice O'Coin, and we are streaming live to the world at www.communityradio.ca. We are going to discuss and celebrate independent artist music from all over the Atlantic region and beyond. Let's all get on the Atlantic Indie Roundabout right now.
This beautiful source is following me It speaks your name The same voice that talks to me When I'm sad and lonely I'm stuck in the future, lost in the past Everlasting faith and hope Surely it must abandon me When I think about you Here comes the smile Here comes the smile It's such a beautiful thing Here comes the smile Here comes the smile It's such a beautiful thing Our time is now We'll never get A better chance to find each other Listening to Shane Moore here at the Atlantic Indie Roundabout here on CIOE 97.5 FM. And we have him in the studio tonight. How are you doing, Shane? Excellent, Mo. How are you? We, we, we've done a show before. Um, uh, we did it on the on the roundabout, and it was a great show. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to play a couple tunes, and we got to make make some new fans online. It was great. But here we are, yeah. FM radio now, and we're online as well. We got some new material from your album that, of course, we're going to feature. Uh, it's the first time we actually got to hear the uh, the studio cuts, because the last time we were playing it live in the studio, so I'm really oh, yeah. excited to, uh, to hear the songs. Uh, the first two songs that we heard actually were, were fantastic and uh, uh, I'd like to know uh, like the backstory like uh, about the album and perhaps these songs themselves uh, the first song we played was uh, Home Is Where You Are any uh, any information on that one? Great. Yeah that that uh, that song has quite a quite a bit of a story it was um, I, I knew that I was going out to record um, with Tim Feswick in, in Mexico yet Oaxaca it took me forever to figure out how to pronounce that word Oaxaca it was a nice little uh, well I was it's a city, I guess. Yeah, it's it's quite a big city. And lots of fun, lots of people, and uh, yeah. And actually, the whole time I was there, I didn't see one person frown. Strangely enough. Anyway, yeah. so the song "Home Is Where You Are." It had um, it had some specific lyrics already written for it. The melody was all done, and the music was all all worked out and everything. But we um, on my way to Mexico, uh, or just before I left, um, there was do um, you, you remember Roy the Flower Guy? I certainly do. So um, he he had just passed away, and it was it was kind of just before I went to Mexico. And for some reason, I, I scrapped the lyrics that were on that song and just totally redid it because I was I was there with uh, with Jackie Smith the night before he um, passed away. And so th- just his whole general demeanor and his attitude just it it was so ins- inspirational because he um he he went with no fear you know and, and it really really struck me like very deeply how positive he stayed right up until the end and so so the lyrics of the song are about him and it's about the the uh, visit that i had with him before um uh, before he did pass away so and and so what i did was on the way there i i changed uh, changed the lyrics and honed them while i was uh while I was recording, and uh, that's what it ended up being. So, so it's. Uh, it, it, I actually was going to call the album "Be uh, the Beautiful Source," because it's a song about my son. But um, because of the shift, I, I felt compelled to call the album "Home Is Where You Are" because that's basically, you know, the the theme of the whole thing. 
It's fabulous, uh, fabulous story, and uh, wow, that puts that song on a personal level, doesn't it? <clears throat> it it's yeah, it's an ode to a fabulous guy. I mean, he, you know. well, yeah, and yes, he was so dignified. Uh, he wanted to go out on his terms to give him some amount of dignity. He had such a strange sense of humor too, and and I really always. love that about him. He always called me Pee Wee whenever he'd show up in the bar. I'd say, "Hey, Pee Wee," and I never understood why. <laughs> that that's that's a pretty personal touch on that song. And, it's a personal uh, ode to him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna listen to that song. The next time I hear that song, I spin it. I'm going to uh, I'm going to take an extra look, extra close listen to the lyrics on that one. It'll probably t- probably uh, give you a different perspective on it. Yes. So you're saying the song "Beautiful Source" is about uh, is about your son? It is. Yes. Yeah, it was like, and actually he named it. And now uh, when I tell him that uh, when I, when I finish the song, I asked him, I said, well, what do you think I should call that song? And he said, Beautiful Source. And uh, a couple of years later, I mean, after it was recorded, he is, probably doesn't listen to it. But um, he, he says, you know, uh, there's only one thing wrong with that song. And it's the title. I said, well, you named it. And he said, I don't like it. It's stupid. Because <laughs> he's a teenager now. So, I mean, yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's a stupid name for a song. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, and plus I duped him. Printed. <laughs> yeah, I, I got his voice on it too, and I don't think he's very pleased about that because he was, well, you know, he didn't know. He's a cute, it. cute young chap. No, nope, yeah. not at all. There's a law. There might be a lawsuit. <laughs> 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 Same page. Yeah. We'll be right back with Shane Moore here at the Atlantic Indie Roundabout on CIOE 97.5 FM and streaming to the world at www.communityradio.ca. That is strong Pascal. It's a beautiful day These are all the words I've learned to say so far I teach me how to show you That I like the way you show your love to me You know it's great to see Your shadow dancing in the warm light Tonight we're born to free Just you and
Shane Moore from the Atlantic Indie Roundabout on CIOE FM 97.5. I'd like to talk about your current endeavors. I mean, we're going to hear a couple more songs from the album track, and I presume all 10 songs were recorded in Mexico? No, actually, the first uh, the first three, maybe four, were done in uh, Tim Feswick's studio in the Valley. He sort of dug me out of the... the, uh, the 
the tomb of uh, <laughs> obscurity. That let's use that word. I, I was just kind of floating around. I had no musical goals in mind. I was kind of just wandering. And he sent me a message once and said, you know, I got I got my studio here in the valley. Yeah. Why don't you come and record one song? We'll see if you like it. If you like it, we'll do a bunch more. So the song uh, on the album that's called You Are the One For Me, I went in there and recorded that with him. And uh, the next one, I believe, was Beautiful Source. And then... 25 years. And so those three songs we did in his uh, studio in the Valley. And then when he moved to Mexico, I had this amazing budget that he sent me. He said, you know, you can come here for this amount and get it done. And I said, buy my ticket. I'm on my way. Wow. And you get a working vacation. But I do know a bit of the story and I like to hear uh, how close, how, how close you made it. <laughs> you got it close. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It was, I think it was, uh, it wasn't the same day, but it was either the day before or two days before they actually shut the whole world down and i'm sitting in the uh, the airport of uh, uh mexico, mexico city oh wow super crowded with lots of people speaking lots of spanish and i don't you know i i can catch a, a word now and then but anxious people trying to get out <laughs> exactly yes yes and before that there there was really no sign that anybody was in any kind of a panic at all it was mostly the people that were trying to get home um mostly the english-speaking people that were trying to get back to you know canada and the states and all over i can only imagine yep but the, the Mexicans themselves didn't seem to be worried. No, well, people here were just in, kind of, you know, dumbstruck and you know, a little bit numb and not sure what was going on. But we blindsided. Were, we didn't have to go anywhere. You know what I mean? We no, were told yeah. to stay yeah. home. And it really meet, makes you appreciate the fact that you can just up and, and go somewhere. I mean, you can't now, but back it makes you appreciate back then when you could just pick up and go someplace tropical. Yeah. And if I had to be stuck somewhere, Mexico would have been the place because I wouldn't have minded it at all. I would have loved to have got home because, you know, I would have missed my uh, my PD, PD bird. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, I guess we're going to uh, check out your next couple of songs here, and we'll, we'll be right back with uh, Shane Moore here on the Atlantic Indie Roundabout here on CIOE 97.5 FM and streaming to the world at www.communityradio.ca. Scotia. We left from Montreal, dragged our bags through Gare Central, waved goodbye to friends and family who smiled and wished us well. Climbed aboard the train to find our cabin, and the bottle of Red Rufino we stashed away and smuggled in. It down and kiss the trip away Wasn't that just yesterday But 25 years have come and gone That is why I'll never love By the Hydra Stone And not that long ago I drove around the block to see If you had come back home To marry me Miraculously free But twenty-five years Have come and gone Just imagine you and your pretty face Through someone else's eyes Someone I know doesn't deserve you Has no place in your heart While I'm falling apart Love again. I'll 
back online and songs are sounding great by the excellent way. yeah Tim well, thank you very did much. a wonderful job on the production he really has a handle on what on what i'm looking for and and uh, he got it right away too right from the very first song we recorded he he played it back to me and i said don't change a thing it's it's perfect just leave it the way it is and and he did that 10 times <laughs> and i noticed the 10 tracks that i that i mean i, I played the album here and uh, all the songs do sound like they're on the same record it doesn't sound like a greatest hits record even though they weren't all recorded at the same time obviously it's his vision right. how did he make obviously makes a fine producer but i noticed there's a lot of like just the sounds that he uses uh, there's the keyboard patches and some of the nice little editing tricks that he does did you envision any of that when you were writing the songs or was that just a creation of the studio or you know development from beyond that point i i'd say uh, the only vision that i had was the actual um lyrics and melody and and the musical progression uh, and actually the structures too the structures all remain the same so it's a structure uh lyric, yeah Oh, and musically, though, he, I gave him carte blanche. I just said, whatever whatever fits the mood of the song from your perspective, do it. And actually, in Canadian and Mexico, we had a team of um, uh, horn players, like some legitimate Mexican horn players, like, uh, what do you call them? Marim- um, mariachi, yeah. Had it like a full mariachi band that was going wow. to do all the, the horn parts. But, um, but he was going to do that in post-production. Um, because he had to get them together and I, I was on my way home. So he was going to have that done when I got home. But then, of course, the whole pandemic thing, he couldn't get those guys you know, together in one level, room. Right. So he, he ended up putting the horns on keyboard, which he did a great job of. And it's, it's properly 
Yeah, it sounds very authentic, and it, it's got a it's got a real mood to it. And I I could not have created that mood. I mean, the whole album has that mood, eh? I mean, I, you can yeah, it, it flows right through the whole album. I mean, your music is is very unique. You have a unique voice. Uh, you have a unique you have a very unique perspective, and even in your songwriting, you do. And uh, and I mean that in in the most complimentary way possible. You're unique, and I I just enjoy your music because it sounds so honest. You're, you're saying things in your words and you're singing songs where they almost sound like they should be private conversations but you unselfishly yeah, yeah. are writing them for the public to hear you know you're bearing your soul for the public and it's you 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 write very unselfishly there, there was a barrier that i had to leap over at some point in my writing um i i had to stop thinking to myself that nobody cares the barrier that i i finally got over that before going to mexico was um i've had this attitude that uh, why would i write anything about something so personal because why would anybody care about it and then i had to i had to remove myself from the listening standpoint you know what i mean and i had just i had to just write it put it out move on and and so now i'm gonna write a bunch of a uh, bunch of more personal songs well i mean uh, honestly yes and that's the first thing that strikes anybody when they hear your album uh I, the, 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 just the the, the the pure honesty and uh, like bearing your entire soul like you're, you you sound naked on this album and the reinforcement for me is that uh, I think people do care and that's yeah. uh, you know I, I probably just had to put it out there to you know to break that hole you know anyway it's wonderful <laughs> and we're gonna um, we're gonna head to it we're gonna play a couple more tunes so here's a little bit more Shane Moore here at CIOE ninety seven point five FM. It's never too late Don't ever give up on your dreams Cause it's your fate To become a lover, not a fighter Use common sense Greet every person that you meet with confidence That's what your mom and dad would say If they were here I'm sure you wouldn't feel so all alone You'll fake it till you make it You'll figure things out on your own But you'll never get used to missing mom and dad When we were young So many kids with moms and dads out having fun and you would envy everyone, not knowing why Nobody close pulled you aside and said you're not to blame I think you knew that, but all the same It would have been nice to hear Your mom and dad still love you, dear we know there's some confusion And we don't want to sound insincere But we say you'll never get used to missing mom and dad And what more can we say? Time will just slip away and they'll be gone again So love them as much as you can while they're still here Well, it breaks my heart To know that sometimes families simply fall apart And to think it happens all the time Doesn't change the impact In fact, the cycle just continues Till someone turns it all around Your mom and dad would be so proud If it was you it's true, you wouldn't feel so all alone Without a clue of why you do The things you think you need to But you'll never get used to missing mom and dad You'll never get used to missing mom and dad You'll never get used to missing mom and dad 
ever get used to missing mom and dad. Back with Shane Moore at the Atlantic Indie Roundabout here on CIOE 97.5 FM. And we're listening to his new LP, Home is Where You Are. And uh, the last two songs uh, that we just heard were Mom and Dad and Pounding. And uh, Mom and Dad sounds like a personal song too, Shane. Yeah, that's that's totally written from the truth. And, and uh, yeah, it's about as truthful as I <laughs> really care to be in the public forum. <laughs> Yeah, that's a remarkable character that you have, and it, it really shows through in your songwriting. And uh, and it's nice that you, uh, you know, you you you, you, you traveled halfway around the world to keep it uh, to keep the continuity. You know, uh, that shows you really cared for what you're going to do. You you were very you know you, you didn't want to compromise there. Exactly, and, and I I have to send kudos out to Tim Fezzik once again though because. Uh, it took an awful lot of patience for him to record that song because I, I could barely get through it. Each each take was, um, I'd get to a certain point and then I'd have to stop. And so I did that, I did that so much that uh, we had to we had to break quite often. And uh, he he had an awful lot of patience, but he captured exactly what I was trying to do without the the um, breaking down. You know that whole wow. thing, that whole chestnut. You know, uh, do you, do you have a hard time listening to it? No, not anymore. I, I, I believe what I've done is, uh, uh, you know, I, I think I've purged uh, purged the demons, as they would say. Have you ever played that's, it live? No, never have. No. I, I Yeah, that's... Do you think you'd have trouble with that? I do believe I will. Yeah. And, and uh, it's a, it's an obstacle I'll have to... Yeah. Then, I, then, I, then I implore you at some point, please play it live. I will absolutely right, do that. Pick the oh. right audience. Pick the right audience. And yep. I think you'll be very uh, surprised. I run through it many times here in my room uh, just before I do that, though, just to, because <laughs> if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, yeah. you know. I think that's remarkable. What you do, your music is one thing. It's very honest. It's, 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 uh, uh, I haven't found the exact word to call your music that, that I find that, but your videos are quirky. 
okay? <laughs> but you know very well I'm a fan of your videos because I got you to produce one of mine. And that was so of, much fun. Because of the because of the, the quirky eye that you have, I mean, mm. you're basically taking a computer program and the little settings that are in the box, you know what I mean? And just spin yeah. with it. Like in, it's like it's like a it's like random it's like random accidental things. But you have such a knack for laying it out so it just hits you and you can't you have even in a serious song you got a smile or it makes you feel good and you hit it you hit it on every one of your songs you have a video made and this is what I was going to talk about your entire album has a video for each song you think about if back in the 80s if you had made an album and made a video for each song like you know you would have spent a million dollars that's true yep yep and I probably would would have made the, the same amount back, you know, you think just so? because of be the way the market was. But you still have to then, put yeah. it out there. And you did this at home in your spare time on your kitchen. No table. budget. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like I threw a bunch of stuff in a box. I shook it up and I threw it on the floor and that's what it was. And yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Well, Shane, so uh, so here we are in the present, in the now. Um, the world is slowly going back to whatever we're going to call the normal, the new normal, whatever they call it. But I know that yeah. as artists, we, you and I are still moving forward. And uh, what do you got in the works? I, I have um, I have sort of a, a two-tier kind of approach. I'm, I'm doing a lot of... Uh, Acoustic songs, much like the like the Home is Where You Are album, um, just acoustic sort of uh, sensitive feely songs. And then I've also got um, I just got Ableton, so I'm I'm starting to work on uh, instrumental versions of spoken word, almost like Billy Shat, <laughs> William Shatner. Not 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 that far. I'm not going to make it comical. It's like it's. It. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be. Uh, I haven't found out the balance between melodic, uh, how to apply the melodic part of it to the actual speaking, but it's it's poetry, kind of, you know, poetry set to music and a beat. Well, thank you, Shane, for being on the show tonight, and uh, stay safe, stay well. Um, can't wait to see you again soon. And thanks for giving us some time here at the Atlantic Indie Roundabout tonight. Uh, I had a, a blast. Uh, I had a blast with you whenever whenever we're together. It's always a lot of fun. Yeah, my total pleasure. Right on. You've been listening to Shane Moore on the Atlantic Indie Roundabout here at CIOE 97.5 FM and streaming to the world at www.communityradio.ca. It all began without warning On a strange winter's morning the sky turned red The vibrations went dead With these terrible songs on a rainy day The pressure just started to fall Your scene doesn't do anything for me It doesn't do anything at all Is the music gone? Is it gone for good? It's only six metal strings On a piece of wood And all these things going on in my head Make it kinda hard to deal Like seaweed swaying in the ocean blue For me, it's gotta be real well, I don't care anymore People tell me I should
vibrations went dead With these terrible songs on a rainy day The pressure just started to fall Your scene doesn't do anything for me It doesn't do anything at all well, I don't care anymore
Thank you for listening to the Atlantic Indie Roundabout with me, your host, Maurice O'Coin, at CIOE 97.5 FM and streaming to the world at www.communityradio.ca. We certainly hope you drop in next week, and until then, we're going to leave you with a little bit of something by Comfort Zone and Changes.
Ponte o Mendoca.